Hi everyone and welcome to my Black Friday haul. This might be part one of two, I haven't decided yet, but most likely this is part one that you are now watching. So I just wanted to start off with a disclaimer. I did order more than what you will be seeing in these hauls. Um, some of it was printable stuff and I don't usually haul printable stuff, you usually just see it when I use it. Um, and I also ordered a couple of misfit kind of grab bags from Scribble Prints Co. And I didn't like really make a, a haul video out of that before kind of putting the stuff away because it was just a bunch of misfits, so like not really any f full complete kits. I did kind of finagle them to make 11 sort of, you know, half kits or like Franken kits by matching color schemes. So you will see those in upcoming spreads. But um, I did not actually film any of that. So what you'll be seeing is mostly, um, actually almost exclusively character stickers because that's what I bought a ton of for Black Friday. So the first order to come in was Pumpkin Paper Co., which is why I'm filming that um, first. And I actually ordered two separate things. Um, one of them was the advent calendar, which is this, and I ordered that first so it would, you know, arrive in time for December. So it's December 3rd when I'm filming, so I've already got three uh, stickers down for it, but it's really fun. So it's just a sticker advent calendar. You get to put down a sticker and its corresponding, you know, number to place on this card for each day in December all the way up to the 25th, which is Christmas. It was my first ever sticker advent calendar or like anything from the planning community advent calendar so I was really excited about this um, it was the first one I've heard I'd heard of that like really appealed to me and was also pretty affordable so I'm really loving doing this every day and I just keep this up on my desk so I can look at it and it's I'm gonna be even more fun like the week up to Christmas when it's really full um, so that's why I have kind of two two orders here so two little cards here that you know, have my name on them, and I love how she, like, personalizes it like that. This is, um, these are my first ever Pumpkin Paper Co. orders, so, like, it was a surprise to me that she, like, takes the time to write a name on every single order and gives you this cute little glossy card and, um, takes the time to put in freebies and die cuts, so I got this little, um, planner die cut and then these two little snow globe freebies with all kinds of like Christmassy stickers in them. So I think the sticker is actually the same one as is on the advent calendar, just a little bit smaller. So that's kind of fun that I get to use that in another place. Um, I'm just looking to see if like any of the other stickers are repeats. Yeah, the washi is also on there. Um, the coffee cup is not, the bow is not, and the gingerbread man is not, but there is one on there. And the star is not, but um, but yeah, so that's really fun that I got two of those because I made two orders. So it also, the order also came with um, little postcards. So we have this one here that came with the advent calendar. It's like a little Christmas window scene, which is so fun. I think I actually got that as a sticker on like a sampler from one of the sheets in, in my order. I'm not sure, I'll have to remember to look at it. And then it's a postcard on the back and I just put the washi down that came on the on the cello because I wanted to keep it because it's so fun. Um, so you can actually use these as postcards. I don't think I will, I think I'm gonna save them because I just, I like them so much. And you know, they could be used as like dashboards if I ever, you know, use dashboards, but I mostly just like to save these and look at them. So then there's this one, which is like, kind of digital paper almost of a bunch of you know Terra heads which is really fun and festive so I'm gonna definitely hold on to these put it with my other um, journaling cards I said that instead of or I said dashboard instead of journaling cards I don't know what I'm talking about yeah so I have a collection of those that I'll be putting that with so now let's get into my actual order I ordered many 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 sheets and I've kind of got them all separated out by category here um, so that it makes it kind of easier to look at. So these are my Christmas sheets that I have. I didn't order too many, considering the holidays are coming up. I say that as I like keep, uh, keep bringing them out. 
that one's more of like a holiday sheet in general or like winter time um so yeah i have eight sheets here so this one is the sampler um i thought that maybe i had the christmas window sheet on this sampler but i don't i have it on the other one but yeah so i got the sampler because i knew that um if i got repeats of stickers that i already had in full sheets then that would be great i would have more and I would also get the chance to try out other types of stickers that I didn't get, see if maybe I wanted them. The only one I can think of that I would want, like right off the bat, is these um, these wrapping ones, like wrapping Christmas presents. I don't think I saw them in a full sheet because I would definitely have gotten those, but like I'm going to be paying attention to that. Anyway, a lot of these are like super cute. I don't have time to like go through each and every single one, but this is all the stickers that come with it. And then this is the other sampler um i think it's kind of like a bucket list sampler this one does have the christmas you know window scene one and um it's got sledding caroling gift giving kissing under the mistletoe uh christmas dinner throwing snowballs christmas shopping getting a christmas tree driving around looking at lights um decorating outside reading by the fire wearing a sweater and building a snowman so obviously it doesn't not obviously. If you don't know where I live, I live in California right now in uh, just below San Francisco where it doesn't snow, but I will be moving to Indiana next year where it does snow, so I will be saving a lot of these for next year, so that's really fun, but a lot of those I will be able to use now. Um, now, really quick, I'm just going to go over these. These are Christmas lights, kind of dividers um, that you can use. I don't have a, I don't have a ton of dividers. I think this is my, the first sheet of dividers I've actually bought from anybody, so... Um, I'm super excited to like have these to like fill up space instead of drawing in my own dividers or using washi or something. So I'll definitely be using this in some of my Christmas spreads. Um, let me just go over this one. If you don't know this about me, my favorite thing is mail and getting mail and ordering things and checking the mailbox and getting packages and letters. So of course I ordered the, um, the Christmas mail time kind of sheet, which has like letters to Santa. Uh, interspersed with um, USPS mail trucks here and they're so fun and like Christmas colors and stuff so I'm gonna be using this for both receiving mail and sending mail obviously so I'm, I'm in love with this sheet I actually bought this um, mail truck clip art so that I could make a full sheet of these and um, also in that clip art set were this seal sticker and this um, little I guess holly and I don't know pine sprig or something like that stickers and this little envelope here I think so I can kind of create my own sheet for that because I know I'm going to be using a lot of those so yeah this sheet is kind of the same idea as that one it's got a bigger truck bigger letters um, and seals and a girl just holding a letter so and stamps here so it's just kind of the same idea Christmas meal time which combines like two of my favorite things, Christmas time and mail time. Um, all right, so let's go over the movies sheet. So I did get a um, Christmas movies sheet here. So I think there's six movies on this sheet. There's The Grinch, um, White Christmas, which I haven't seen. It's the only one I haven't seen on this list. Nightmare Before Christmas, which I still think is more of a Halloween movie, but eh, it's got Christmas in it. Um, Home Alone, Elf, A Christmas Story. And yeah, and they all repeat. So each one has the option of the girl watching the movie with um, a little plate of cookies and milk next to her. Um, and then the other option is just the single TV with the movie on it. So that's so fun. I'll definitely be using this for when I watch the movies this year and years to come. And then the last two Christmas ones I got were just kind of generic Christmas samplers. So this one's a gingerbread sampler, which has the houses and the little girls, I guess. I don't know if they're supposed to be like sugar plum fairies or something. I don't know why that made me think of that, but it did. And then candy canes, gumdrops, gingerbread men, other little candies here, and lollipops. So uh, these are a lot bigger than I expected, but I don't know if I ever spend like a whole afternoon making a gingerbread house, <laughs> I can use these to block out that space. Otherwise, I'm probably just going to use these as deco. And the sampler is 
kind of like a really generic Christmas one. So we've got Christmas trees, you know, fireplace, stockings, candy canes, Christmas lights, snowmen, presents, little Santa hat, gingerbread man, um, and then let it snow when I love Christmas. So again, this is like enormous. It would be, it would make good deco and the other stuff too would make good deco. Otherwise I can use it for like decorating the tree or Christmas gift giving or making a snowman or something. So those are all of my Christmas sheets. And now my fall sheets. Now this is my first order from here. So I had to back order a lot. And by that, I mean, order things that had come out in previous years that I didn't get when they came out. Um, so this sheet here is like fall working on a computer. So she's got like a pumpkin spice latte here and there's a little pumpkin on the computer and she's got like her planner and stickers next to her. So that was so fun. Um, the only thing like super making this fall is the color scheme and the little pumpkin on the computer so you can technically use it year round. But um, I'm probably gonna save it for fall just because I have a lot of other laptop stickers and I think it's really fun to use fall stickers in fall. So um, so yeah, that's the little laptop stickers. Uh, this one is the sheet of dolls. We have Coraline, we have Sally from The Nightmare Before Christmas, we have Jack from the same movie. Um, I think this is Wednesday Addams, I've never seen The Addams Family but I really want to. This is obviously Beetlejuice. Um, I don't remember this one, I might have to look it up but it's just, you know, a generic cute um, Halloween kind of doll. So obviously I will use these to mark when I watch the movies or I guess it's just like a deco or something but I thought these were so cute. And I mostly got this, I think, for Coraline because I love that movie more than anything. I also love Nightmare Before Christmas. Beetlejuice is okay. Um, and like I said, I haven't seen The Addams Family, but I'm sure I would love it. So that was the sheet of dolls. And then we have a generic fall sampler here. Um, so we've got, you know, her sitting on the couch with her drink. We've got a lot of pies. I do love pie stickers. Um, you have Netflix here, books, acorns. Um, I guess this could be like tea or pumpkin spice lattes or something. And then you have leaves and you have a girl, you know, holding her drink. So again, that could be used for deco or functional stuff. And then here's the Thanksgiving sampler. And I really wish I had this for Thanksgiving, but I didn't. It arrived too late, but next year. So we have a little girl at the dinner table ready to eat, which is me every year. We get more pies. I love these pies. Um, turkeys, pumpkin pie, slices of that. I guess these are peas over here. You have corn. I love those corns. They're so detailed. More egg corns and a, a bread roll. I guess a loaf, a baguette. I don't know. Bread. And then Thanksgiving and then food com coming, which is so true. So yeah, I do love, I love food stickers and Thanksgiving is like the time for food. So I love this sheet. I'm probably gonna do my own sheet of Thanksgiving doodles too, because I already did fall doodles, so it wouldn't be much of a stretch to do Thanksgiving. Um, and then the last section is, I think just, no, there's two more sections. So this one is just generic stickers. Um, let me see how many we have. Five, five generic stickers. So um, this one is more mail stuff. So this is letter writing here. So we have a girl at a table writing a letter. And then this is the actual letter here. And if you look closely enough, you can actually read it. It says, dear friend, it's been way too long. We need to see each other soon. I miss you so much. Write me back. Love me. Or there's a little heart and then me. And I think that's so fun because I do write a lot of letters to my friends, well, to my pen pal and to my boyfriend and occasionally like to family. So it'll be perfect for writing that, especially for pen pals because I aim to do a lot more pen pal letter writing in the future. So I have a whole sheet of these and it's probably going to take me a while to run out of them. So I'm really happy about those because I haven't seen any stickers like this in any other shop. And if you know of any, let me know, but I really love those. Um, and then I have a whole Coraline sheet because like I said, it's like one of my favorite movies. It's so dark and edgy and I love it. So these will be used for marking when I watch that, which is going to be a lot. So the sheet will be good for that. I haven't seen any like weekly kits that are Coraline based. So if you know of any of those, let me know, or like any clip art. And then I got a whole sheet of cats, of course, because I love cats. Cat stickers are probably my second favorite stickers, next to a couple stickers. Um, 
so yeah, none of these like are actually Siamese, which is what my boyfriend's and my cat is currently, but you know, if we get another cat in the future, hopefully it will be one of these colors, but I'm honestly just gonna use this to mark any generic cat activity. And I do love, I do, do love the design of these cats. I can't draw cats for anything, despite the fact that I do have cat doodles in my shop. I like these better, a little secret. Um, so I just had to pick that up. This one is more meal stuff. This is uh, package stuff. So this is like a girl, you know, holding all of her packages that she got in the mail, <laughs> tripping because there's so many, which is me, hashtag, hashtag me every day. And then this is a girl just like holding it up. So yeah, this is, I'm, I'm gonna use me, to mark me getting excited about packages coming in the mail, which is all the time, especially now that it's Black Friday season all my orders are coming in and then this one is just reading on the couch i think this is supposed to be fall themed but honestly i'm just going to kind of use it for any time so yeah it's her reading on the couch with her little psl next to her and then there's a bunch of fall themed books at the bottom here but it's such a cute sticker i'm probably just going to use it for any time again these stickers are also very detailed i like them a lot and then these last two sheets are harry potter um so this one is just kind of a generic wizard sheet so that's a girl i got her with black hair because my hair is black and you know generic hogwarts outfit so it's not house specific um this i'm pretty sure it's not i'm looking at the ties and i think if you look really closely they're different colors i can't tell which one's supposed to be blue though i think that one is so i guess like those two are ravenclaw i don't know I think if you have to look that closely, it doesn't super matter. So these will just be used to make any generic Harry Potter thing. And then this is the Harry Potter sampler, which is a bunch of characters of Harry, Ron, and Hermione, and then just a bunch of other Harry Potter kind of things. So you have the quote, oh, Mara, and you're a wizard. And then, you know, letters, sorting hat, broomstick, the egg from the Triwizard Tournament, cauldron, Edwig, or just snowy owl, cat snitch, candle, Deathly Hallows symbol, stack of books, potions, bats for some random reason, his glasses, a pumpkin for some other random reason. But yeah, super fun. So that I think will be good for deco. Can never have too much Harry Potter deco. All right, so that is my order from Paper or Pumpkin at Paper Co. Let's go on to the next one. Okay, so I'm going to continue this haul with three more Black Friday orders that just came in. So I have an order from Shine Sticker Studio here, an order from The Coffee Monsters Co., and an order from Once More With Love. And um, these are all my first time ordering from these shops. Technically, Once More With Love isn't a Black Friday order. I placed it a little bit before Black Friday, but it just came in, I think, yesterday. So I'm going to include it. Um, unlike other shops where I tended to purchase every single thing I wanted from that shop during Black Friday in order to, you know, start my collection, um, I didn't do that with Once More With Love. I think I only ordered seven or eight sheets from her, and I still have like 16 more that I want, but I will be replacing those on a later date when there's another sale. All right, let's get started. Um, I'm gonna start with Shine Sticker Studio. So first of all, I love how she packaged it. She used this like really fun uh, holiday patterned scotch tape um, and wrapped it up in this paper and included this little sticker with um, all of her social media information and she hand wrote my name, which is fun. I'm definitely gonna be keeping this. And this was the seal that came on the envelope. And this was another seal. I don't know, I just like saving those. So I put them all on this card, which I'm going to save. So this was a really small order. So it came with this little freebie sticker, which is like a buffalo plaid bow on a coffee cup. So that's kind of fun, a little too big to be like functional, but maybe it can be decorative in a spread. And then I got four different sheets also. So this first one, is um, a Happy Mail sheet. I love Happy Mail stickers because I get a lot of it. So um, you just get some smaller girls up here holding a letter and then all the rest say, yay, it's here also. And you get some really big ones. I don't know what I'm gonna do with the big ones, but 
we'll see. Um, I also got a Christmas sheet. So there she is like coming out of a present and then in a reindeer costume. And then this one's really cute, decorating the tree. And then as a little elf holding a Merry Christmas sign. And then just wearing a kind of Christmas dress and bow. So that was really fun. I think I mostly got this for the decorating the tree, but I'm sure I'll find a way to use all the others. And then this one is the um, cat sheet. So it's just a girl with a cat on her head. And I just think that's so adorable. So I'll use that to mark any cat related things I have going on. Like I said, um, I think cat stickers are my second favorite. And then this last one is a nap time sheet. And of course I had to get it because I do take a lot of naps. Um, and this is a lot of stickers. I think it's 24 total. So that'll definitely last me a while. So this one is just the girl and I can like write a nap time next to it or use one of my own scripts. And then this one has the script included that says nap time. So those are the four sheets I got from Shine Sticker Studio. They're really fun. And I love her like rainbow hair. It's not gonna go with like every spread, but it's really fun. Um, Okay, so now let's get into Once More With Love. So again, this is also a kind of small order, um, but it did come with a lot that I wasn't expecting. So it came with this giant journaling card that says Happy Holidays with a munchkin and a bunch of presents. I think this is the biggest one I've seen. So I keep my um, all my journaling cards in a little cello, but I might have to get a bigger one because that one's like enormous. I need to like eventually find a way to display all of them because I don't think I have room in my current setup. Um, okay, so how many sheets? I think I got seven sheets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I got eight sheets. And um, so it came with this little November freebie, which is funny because like it says it's November, almost December, but like that's definitely like a Christmas type uh, sticker, so it's so funny. It's like this is really almost a December freebie. But um, yeah, so a lot of cute little stickers there and a little munchkin in a unicorn onesie that's so funny. And then a Once More With Love sticker that I'm probably going to use to mark this order or something like that. Um, or like when I place my next order. So that's a fun freebie. And then I also put in Super Oops as the code, or not the code, as the, in the notes section. And then she'll just send you whatever Super Oops sheet she has on hand. So this one is no, uh, November 2018 Wacky Holidays. So obviously it's not November anymore, it's December. Um, but I think it would be really funny to go in and like put these in my November monthly spread just as like, I don't know, something I can look back on just so I can use them. Because honestly, with me, it's more about the fun of using the stickers than like using them functionally. <laughs> So I'm probably just going to do that. And yeah, the cut lines are pretty off, but honestly, I don't care. Um, I think it would be still cute to put those in. So I'm, that's what I'm going to do with those. And now let's get into the sheets. So I do, do think I organized them by category again. So here's a kind of like Christmas sampler sheet. Um, a lot of fun Christmas or winter time activities. I really love that one where the munchkin's like hanging upside down, like tangled up in Christmas lights. That's so funny. And the same sort of thing there. And then peeking out of a little present uh, in front of a gingerbread house, sitting in the stockings. Um, and then like with candy canes there, dressed up as an elf. And then that's like looking at the list. And yeah, that's absolutely adorable. So. I'm not too sure how many of these I'll be able to use like functionally, but I'm sure I'll come up with something. They were just too cute to not get. All right, and then this one is um, holiday gifts and cards. So, it, so this one is writing holiday cards, and this one is like wrapping presents. This one is also wrapping, and apparently it's not going to. Oh, he's got like tape on his head. Um, this one is just like holding a present and then like holding the ribbon. So I guess that could be for either wrapping or like unwrapping, which I think is good. They can be used for both and then more wrapping. So I think like earlier in this haul, um, I was looking at like the Pumpkin Paper Co. wrapping gift stickers and I was like, I wish there was a full sheet of those. And I looked later and there wasn't, but um, at least I have these. So I should have enough wrapping stickers to last like two Christmases. Okay. 
So the next sheet I got is also kind of Christmas, winter. This is, I think, the bucket list one. It's not labeled, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is because it's a bunch of, you know, bucket list activities and the scripts are included in this one. So you got listen to holiday tunes, drink eggnog, which I've actually already done this year, uh, build a snowman, which I can't do while I'm living in California, wrap gifts, spend time with loved ones, eat too much, have a snowball fight, make a snow angel, decorate the tree, hang stockings, write holiday cards, put snacks out for Santa, which I'm kind of like too old to do at this point, but when I have kids, I'll use it. Uh, kiss under a mistletoe, eat candy canes, count down to the new year, shop for gifts, donate something, be kind to someone, and build a gingerbread house. So that's really fun. I'm actually collecting quite a lot of Christmas bucket list stickers, so I'll have to like pick and choose which ones I want to use uh, this year. And this one is called Baby It's Cold Outside. It's just a couple um, either sitting with treats, looking outside a window when it's snowing, or um, or huddled up in front of a movie with similar treats. And I just thought these were so cute to mark when me and my boyfriend are together and do these things um, during the winter time. It won't be this winter because I just saw him in the fall, but next winter when we're actually living together and it, and it does snow up there in Indiana. So I'll be able to use these for that. And this one is so fun. It's a, um, a little Disney princess and villains like Disney princess and Disney villains sheet so um it says Halloween princess and villains so I'm guessing it's supposed to be like representing Halloween costumes but honestly I'm probably just going to use it to mark when I watch the movies that these are associated with so it's not every single one that's represented obviously but honestly I'm just happy that Belle's there she's my favorite um and I like a lot of these others as well. I think Jasmine and Ariel are like my second favorites. So that works. I think it's so funny the Queen of Hearts is on here, but like Alice isn't on here. In case you didn't know, Alice in Wonderland is my favorite book duology. So it would be really fun to like be able to mark that, but I can still use the Queen of Hearts for that. I just think it's funny that she's like randomly included there. Like, I guess she's a, a Disney villain, but like not a Disney princess villain. So it's really funny to me. But yeah, I love that. Um, and then this one is kind of like a shop owner sheet. So it's printing up here, cutting here, packaging orders, and then sending them off to the mailbox. And then you have some print and cut strips here. Or not strips, scripts. And then this one is tea time. I think I got this because it was a low stock. I think I placed this order because there was like a lot of low stock stuff and I wanted to like get it before it went away forever. Cause you know, I'm trying to build up my Once More With Love collection, so I want to have, like, some older sheets. Um, so, yeah, this is tea time. Obviously, I drink a lot of tea, so it made sense to, like, grab this one before it went out. So I've got the little munchkin with a giant teacup, like, having a tea party, drinking out of a cup, a little teapot, and then actually sitting in the cup of tea, and I think that's so funny. I wasn't, like, even a huge fan of munchkins before, but, like, seeing them in person really changes my mind. They're so cute. Um, they're so simple, but so cute. So the last one I got was the um, bookkeeping sheet, and it's called Receipts here. Um, I'm actually like considering getting into virtual bookkeeping, bookkeeping. So we'll see where that goes. So I might use this for that, but in the meantime, I'm probably going to use this to mark when I do accounting for like my own personal life and my business. So yeah, this is basically all just like receipt stuff and it definitely represents it. There's, there's a lot you have to keep track of when you're tracking your purchases and like budgeting and stuff. So this was also another low stock one. So I only have one, but I think other sheets are not, I think other shops offered similar types of sheets. So there's that. And that is my first once more with love order. Now let's get into the Coffee Monsters Co. And this is the biggest order in this part of the haul. So it came with loads of stuff. So it came with this um, fall journaling card, which is also enormous. Let me see if it's like the same size as this one. Yeah, it's about the same size as the Once More With Love journaling card. Um, so it says, I love fall most of all. And it's got a little emoji or I guess a big emoji and then on the back is the loyalty card part of it 
So you're supposed to collect all the beans in order to get a sampler in your next order, and you're supposed to collect 21 beans before you get that. And I think it's really funny because in this order, my first ever Coffee Monsters Co. order, I managed to, I just happened to purchase exactly 21 sheets. So it's it's very funny. So my next order, I'll be able to get that sampler. Um, and it comes with this Emodi vellum too, which I don't know what I'm going to do with because I don't really have any use for vellum at current. But um, right now I'm just going to keep it probably with the journaling card and just like keep it safe with the rest of my journaling cards along with other things that I don't know if I'm going to use. And there were a lot of little extras that came with this order. So we get this giant freebie which is actually a $30 Black Friday sampler. So you get a full box that says you have a pizza, you have a pizza in my heart, and that's so funny, I love pizza. Um, and then you have an emoji with shopping bags, one with little heart eyes holding a heart. There's a little, um, what's that called, speech bubble that says sale, and I'm guessing that can go with this shopping emoji. I actually don't think I've seen like a full sheet of these, otherwise I might be interested. And then you have a sticky note emoji, and then a little checklist one. And I think she said she was going to, like, make those a whole sheet in her shop because she likes them so much. I love Helen. Helen's videos are, like, some of my favorite videos. <laughs> and I love her planning style. Like, she's probably one of my top three favorite planners. Um, okay, so in addition to that, you have this other freebie here, which is probably one that, like, comes with every order. So you have three emojis up here. You have a little chef one, one in what looks like an owl onesie. And then one with a bunch of sushi, and I love that one a lot, because I love sushi. It's my favorite food. Um, and then you have a little emoji head header. <laughs> Pretty sure that's what it, she calls it. And then you have, like, a sleep tracker for, like, one day. So you can write um, what hours you slept that night. So I don't know when exactly I would use it, but when I want it, it's there. And then you get this cute little die cut, New Year, New Me. Um, what am I going to do that? I might use this in my January m monthly spread because I usually have a lot of empty space in those and a, the die cut this big would be like perfect to fill that up. I don't think I'm going to be able to fit this on New Year's Day, like in my weekly spread. I have a lot of other New Year's stickers I want to use, but yeah, this is like just generally New Year, so I can use it in my January monthly spread. And then she gave out a washi sample too. I think she put these in all of her Black Friday orders. Um, let me try to like peel this up a little bit. I don't think I've gotten any washi from any shops that are n like primarily stickers first. Like I've seen a lot offered, but I haven't like been super interested enough to buy. And I just ripped it. Great. <laughs> so this will be my first kind of washi that isn't from like a washi only shop like Simply Gilded. And I actually haven't bought any Simply Gilded washi from Simply Gilded yet. But anyway, this is kind of what it looks like. Um, it's just a bunch of emojis with different expressions on them. So that's fun. I guess I'll just use this whenever I, uh, whenever this color scheme fits with the spread I'm using, this light blue. So um, those were all the freebies that came with it. And now let's get into the actual sheets. Like I said, there's a lot. So first, um, I'm going to do the Christmas ones. So um, I got this little Christmas emoji bucket list one. Like I said, I've gotten a lot of Christmas bucket list sheets. So this one has decorate the tree, watch Christmas movies, bake cookies, jam to music, give gifts, rock ugly sweaters, send out cards, decorate gingerbread, and then there's a little Christmas tea end. And this is a kind of a, a small one, but it's like all stuff that I'm actually going to do. Except maybe the ugly sweaters thing. I've never like been to an ugly sweater party or really have had any interest in it. Um, but who knows? I'll definitely hold on to it. So that's a kind of like mini Christmas bucket list thing. And then this one is like Christmas movies. Christmas movie night is what it's called. So there's one that says movie marathon. There's one just like holding popcorn in a remote and a little drink. This one is just watching the movie. Looks like Charlie Brown Christmas in there. And then this one is huddled under a blanket at a laptop doing it. So I'll definitely make, I'll get a lot of use out of these. I do have a Christmas movie um, foiled sheet from Scrollbot Prince Co. And then this one is a Christmas emoji sampler. So this is like, kind of also like bucket list Christmas stuff. 
But, um, yes, yeah, so there's like presents, decorating the tree, uh, making a gingerbread house, Christmas mail, a bunch of little outfits, a bunch of stuffies, gingerbread man. <laughs> That's so cute. I love the gingerbread man. Um, and then a little list, and then I think that's baking, and then that's being wrapped up in Christmas lights, a lot of fun stuff on this sheet. So, I got a lot of use out of that this season, and now let's get into the food-related sheets. I got a lot of these, so this is just like baking, and these are, yeah, it's meal prep actually, so it's like cooking. These are a lot bigger than I expected, so I'll use this for like one I meal prep for hours and need to fill up a lot of space. Um, and then this one is the pizza sheet. I had to get this because I just recently started loving pizza again. I always like either love it or hate it, but now I'm in a phase of loving it and craving it. So this is a lot of pizza stickers. It's going to last me a long time. Um, and after that is baking. I don't bake a ton anymore. I used to a lot, but I really want to get back into it and I will do it on occasion. So. I use this for that. So this is like mixing. This is cookies. That's cake and that's cupcakes. So that's super fun. And this is the ice cream sheet. Um, I do like ice cream a lot too, even though I'm kind of like lactose intolerant. <laughs> I choose to suffer a lot because I love ice cream and my boyfriend loves ice cream too. So we're going to use these a lot. And then of course, Asian food. I mostly got it for the sushi because I love sushi, but I also love rice, and I'm guessing that's a kind of soup, and that's takeout. I do love Chinese takeout. Me and my friends get it a lot when we're um, when we're all hanging out playing video games. It's either that or pizza, honestly. So I'm all set with these stickers. And then there's boba. I don't think I've had boba, but if I try it, I've got stickers for it. And now these are the flat lays and kind of desk setups. So this one is planning at the desk. Um, again, these are also really big stickers. And then these are the flat lays that I got. So this one is a working girl's desk. So just anything computer related. This one is a planner girl's desk. So again, just planning. I really love flat lays. These are my third favorite types of stickers. I didn't say that before, but yeah. And then this is an artsy girl's desk. So I think it's like painting right here, but I'm probably just gonna use it for drawing because I do draw a lot of my own stickers in my shop. And then this one is YouTuber emojis. This is a very common sheet. I've seen a lot of people with it. So that's just like holding a YouTube symbol. And then this one is holding a film clapper. So for filming and then editing, it says edit in there really small. This is doing a voiceover and then you have some upload stickers over here. I rarely do voiceovers, but I sometimes do. So I'm glad that those stickers won't go to waste. <laughs> um, Alrighty, so this is kind of like shop stuff. So this is shop owner emojis. So you got cutting it's funny that you don't get printing in this one because like usually printing and cutting is like a pair but anyway you get cutting packing orders dropping them off at the mailbox doing things on a computer and then you get cute little new release stickers right here and then these little ones that like don't say new releases but i guess you can use those as just like happy emojis too um and then these are laundry emojis so you got your little clothesline, ironing, <laughs> obviously swimming in the pile of laundry, just overwhelmed by it, and then drowning in a pile of laundry, and then a little laundry washing machine over here. So that's good for that. This is uh, headache migraine emojis. I get headaches more than I would like to admit, and I did have a migraine the other day when I forgot to eat for seven hours. So yeah, this is definitely a sheet I'll be unfortunately getting a lot of use out of. Um, and then this is crafting and scrapbooking emojis. I generally try to pick up crafting sheets where I can when I see them in a shop because not a lot of shops have them. And I don't do crafting a ton anymore. I think I literally just said this like earlier in the video, but I'm filming it on a different day, so I don't know. But anyway, I am going to pick up a crafting sheet whenever I see it in a shop because it's a rare sheet and I want to have a lot of variety. So a lot of this is like planning crafting stuff. Like there's a stack of washi and then there's washi here and then she's got a little TN there. So like this is really the only generic crafting one but like I am gonna use it for just generic crafting cause like I don't do a ton of planner crafting. Like I did when I first got my Erin Conjuring cause I, I crafted the bow that I use in it, the bow clip. I haven't bought any bow clips, I just used the one I made. And then the little band for it I also crafted but like I haven't done anything after that. 
but um I'm actually thinking about getting a ring bound planner so I was inspired by um Jessica's Kittenish Girl Jess's um Foxy Fix ring bound planner flip through and I was like maybe I could do that so if I do then this sheet might come in handy but otherwise I'm just going to use it for crafting um this is book nerd emojis obviously I'm a huge reader it's like my first love before stickers so um had to pick up this sheet for that I haven't read in so long though I need to get back into it I've only read like 64 books this year and my goal like my secret goal is 70 my official goal is 50 and I already passed that but, like I used to read 100 books a year and so I'm definitely falling behind so I'm going to try to get to 70 before the end of this year this one is cat lady emojis obviously I had to pick this up I always pick up cat stickers well if I like them and I did this so it's so funny this one's like doing litter while the cats are like sitting on you and it's so funny because little quick story time um at my parents house they we, they got a new kitten like I don't know a couple months before I moved out so I got to spend a lot of time with that kitten but he was so funny whenever I would do his litter he would always come over and like sit in it and like immediately go to the bathroom like as I was about to scoop the litter and I don't know like what triggered him to do that like why he thought that me being there meant he had to like show off that he knew how to use it because we know we knew he knew how to use it it was so funny that he would do that so that's like basically it whenever they see you doing their litter they want to be there and then this one is like wearing a cat lady shirt this one is kissing a little gray cat and this one is like loving on the cat while he's sleeping this is like so me and then the little cat face thing feed me yep i feel all of this this is so fun oh and then this is the um princess emojis just like the once one with love sheet i had to pick up these two i think i will also pick up these whenever i see them because they're so fun um so i think you get like all the basic disney princesses except anna in here which kind of bugs me because you get elsa but not anna but honestly they're like the same level of princess so and if anything else is the queen so i don't know why that wasn't included and why we get like two different versions of Belle and two different versions of mulan but no anna so what do we have um we don't have all of them actually i'm just looking or we might yeah i think we do actually so we have cinderella uh snow white and sleeping beauty which is like the original three then you have Ariel, Jasmine, Belle, Mulan, technically not a princess, but officially a Disney princess. Um, and then you have the newer ones. You have Moana, um, Rapunzel, and Elsa. And I think that's it. Oh yeah, um, Merida is not represented from Brave. Technically that's Disney Pixar. So I can kind of understand that, but she is an official Disney princess. So you don't get all of them on here, but you get most of them. Honestly, I'm happy that there's two versions of Belle and that there's two of each of those. So I, I love Beauty and the Beast. It's my favorite Disney movie. So I'll be able to use those up. Um, and then in addition to that, I got the Harry Potter sheet because of course I did. Um, all these cute little Harry Potter emojis. So that's Harry, Hermione, Ron, Luna, Snape, Dobby. I want to say that's Malfoy. Oh yeah, that's Malfoy. That's Tonks, Voldemort, which for, for some reason is green. Dumbledore, Ginny, Hagrid. <laughs> Umbridge is on there too for some reason. Hedwig and Lupin. Um, I guess Neville's not on there. It's pretty sad. I would include Neville before I would include Umbridge, honestly. No, I would include Neville before Tonks. Um, and then there's all the, the titles here. And instead of doing Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, like I think Jessica from J. Crew Plans did on hers, um, she just included one that said Ben Cherry Potter. So, yeah, I'll probably use these for like reading the books because I have different ways of marking watching the movies. But I could also use these for the movies. And I could use this for when I'm binging watching the movies because I think people use binge watching like more than like binge reading I thought I heard somebody discussing that the other day and I'm not really sure but I think it like could be used for both anyway that is it for this section of the haul it may or may not be 
the last one. I'm pretty sure it won't be. I think I have more stuff coming in that I'll be able to fit into this video. But if not, I'll just pop in and like tell you that's it. Okay, so I am going to do one last order for this first half of my Black Friday haul. The next one's going to be really big, the second part. Um, but I did want to um, tack on this order to the first one, which is also going to be pretty big. So we'll see how it ends up splitting up. But this is my first ever order from Sweet Bean Plans. And I was definitely lucky enough to be one of the first 30 orders. So I got a sampler from a bunch of other shops. So um, I will go over that after I go over my actual order. So it did come with a really adorable journaling card. I love this so much. I actually love a lot of hers that I've seen on social media. But this is a really cute kind of um, holiday season set up with a fireplace and stockings and stuff. Um, a lot of buffalo plaid going on and it says holly jolly up here and then maybe it's cold outside down here it's so cute i really want to make a display of all my journaling cards i'm gonna have to figure out how to do that i know a lot of people put them up on their walls i'll have to find some wall space here all right so now for my actual order it's kind of small as usual i'll go over the freebies first so i got this cute little um grinchmas freebie which is like a little Grinch kitty cat over here. I love those, they're so cute. A little um, tree with an ornament, and it's kind of leaning over. It's a little bean dressed up as a reindeer, <laughs> reindeer from the Grinch, so basically Max with, a, um, with an antler on his head. And then a little signpost that says, uh, I think, crumpet, like pointing this way, lair this way, and then who this way. Or it could say crumped. I'm not seeing an eye in there. Anyway, it's still really cute. I'll probably be using these to mark when I watch The Grinch. Um, I'm probably going to watch all three versions this year. I think the new one's coming out in time for Christmas. Um, so yeah, I'll definitely get a lot of use out of those. And then this adorable little sampler comes with a full box. I'm getting so many full boxes and samplers. I probably have enough to like to do a whole spread with them now or like close to it. And then there's a little bean with Christmas lights, hot cocoa, a 2019 balloon bunch that I'm probably gonna use to mark the new year. I'm having like so many stickers that say 2019 that I'm gonna have to cram them all into the, um, the January monthly spread or just on New Year's Day. <laughs> it's gonna be very busy. And then a little panda at the mailbox and that one is so cute, I love it. And then a little functional strip right here. So that's a very generous couple of freebies, considering how small my order is. So I did get a bunch of flat lays with this order. I think I only got like eight, eight sheets possibly, we'll see. So this flat lay is kind of a Christmas baking one. So there's a gingerbread in both. This one looks like making a gingerbread house and then this one is just cookies. Very fun, I do love how many it comes with. So you get six small ones and then four big ones. So you get 10 in each one. This one is a, a present wrapping flat lay. I love these. Um, this one is fall themed, so it's like basically Thanksgiving dinner in both of them, both types. This one is just cooking, so this one is on a stove top, and then this one is on a cutting board. So fun, so detailed. And this one is two types of reading ones. So this one's got like tea and I'm not sure what that is over there, but it's got glasses too. And a little bookmark that says booked. And then this one over here has tea and then cake. And I think that's a candle over there and some roses. Uh, and there's a pencil in that one. So that could be used for like studying. Even though I'm not in school anymore, I'm sure I'll have a use for it. Um, so then this one is also a reading flat lay but it's just kind of like relaxing um with a book and a candle and tea again and then this one is just like eating snacks okay and now we get into animal stickers i think this is the only other type i got so i got siamese cat sheet um because in case you didn't know my boyfriend's cat is a siamese cat 
and he's basically my cat too and he's really cute so i got these adorable stickers to mark events related to him and then i got two sheets of um python stickers i think this was the very first um sheet of snake stickers that i saw in like any planner sticker shop and this was what inspired me to look for more but um, this is my first time like actually ordering them so i did pick up two because they were so cute and i knew i would use a lot of them they're so perfect um i don't have a snake yet but next year when i move in with my boyfriend i will get one like pretty much right away i've done all the research got all the supplies i'm ready um so yeah i think that's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, it's only eight sheets. And I did notice that there were these cute little bean stickers on the top right corner of her of her sheets. Hang on, that one actually doesn't look like a sticker. There was definitely one though. Like I think she like at some point made them so that they were actual stickers and then at other point she like stopped like here this one's an actual sticker so that's so funny so i um i'd actually just asked her this i sent her a message and if they were like part of some loyalty program like the coffee monsters code does the same thing with coffee beans um and she said no <laughs> she just thought it would be cute so that's so funny but they uh, she is moving to a website soon so um so she is going to have a rewards program on that, but like it won't be a loyalty card program. All right, so now let's go into the sampler. I ordered this like six minutes after the sale start date and it was only the first 30 orders. So I was like thinking, oh no, if it's a really popular sale, I may have missed the first 30, but I was so glad to find out that I actually made it. I think I've gotten every like first hundred or first 30 order um sampler or prize or whatever that was offered for black friday sales i'm so so proud i sent all my alarms okay so so many samplers here and a lot of shops i actually do want to check out um so i'm really glad that i got so many so many new shops to try and that's why the sampler idea is really a good one um because otherwise i might not have known about these shops so let's start with this one this is from Plan with Ava, and I'm sure I've heard about her, but I never saw any of her stickers. So there's a lot of really fun functional stickers on here, um, including a full box or half box and a quarter box and a TV strip and plan, payday, retail therapy, groceries, coffee first, nail time, and then a few asterisks. So those are really cute. Um, this one is from Twin16. Never heard of this shop, but I love the, the cutout of the logo here. So this is a giant kind of checklist sticker that's so fun i've never seen one in a cool shape like this this is listening to music and i don't see a ton of those type of stickers so i'm really happy to get that one um is this hard a sticker yes it is it's just hard to peel up so that hearts a sticker and then a to-do list here and then looks like a bill due over here and there's also a lot of coupon codes at the bottom of these i don't know if i like shouldn't be showing them to you but um but I want to show you the samplers, so you might see them. Um, this one is from Sassy Apple Studio, and I'm sure I've heard of her, but never really took an in-depth look at her shop. So I really like these stickers. There's Give Me the Tea, Sleep In, there's a bow clip, um, 2019 Happy New Year, another New Year sticker that I'm going to have to use. This one is a girl um, holding a cup of tea. This is probably the the girl that's like the main character of the shop she's got a little apple dress on and then here's a girl planning and these two look like the most close to my skin tone so got really lucky there um and then moving on to create with pen again i may have heard of her i'm not really sure but i'm definitely going to be checking her out because oh my god these stickers are so cute and such good quality yeah, this might be premium matte. I'm like really bad at telling what's premium matte and normal matte, but um, this might be premium matte. The print quality is just amazing. Um, so this is a lot of like Christmas winter time stickers, including this little like gingerbread star kind of divider thing. So that's really cute. And then this little like tablet or phone that says all is calm, all is bright. 
really fun. Um, and then this is Jenna B Studios. I'm sure I've heard of her. A lot of cute stickers here too. It looks like they may be uh, hand lettered. Um, it's cold. I have decorate your home, enjoy a warm beverage, cuddle out by the fire, feed the birds. It's the weekend. And then a little ready over here. And these um, icons and logo are also cut out too. So that's really useful to mark orders from her um, list, which is really fun. And then this big one is from Sigur Sensations. I've probably heard of her before. Another full box. I think it's funny that like most of the full boxes and freebies I get are like pink so that they all kind of go together to like form one Franken spread. Um, and then a few more functional ones down here and then some kind of like doodly ones. And I really like these. I don't know if that's like clip art that she drew herself or um, got from somewhere else, but I really like that art. So I'm going to be looking into the shop to see if I want more of it. So yeah, that's a really generous sampler right there. And then there's this big package over here. This is from a washi shop, I believe. Um, oh my god, there's so much in here, so much little stuff. So let me just pull out the card first. I think the shop name is Washi You Doing, which is so fun. Um, there's another coupon code on there. So let me just kind of dump all this out without getting the getting anything caught on the sticky part of it. It's always tricky. So it does come with some washi. This is like, it looks like kind of purple glitter vinyl, like, but like in washi form. Like it's like actually glittery. Um, I don't know what like material that is. Let me see if I can peel up some. It feels kind of light like paper. But I've never actually seen vinyl, so I don't know. But either way, it's really fun, and it's perfect for glitter headers in purple. So that's, like, a super fun idea. Um, it's probably better to buy it in, like, an actual roll form instead of on a sheet. You could probably get more use out of it. And then there's this adorable little candy. Um, I think it's, like, a, a box of some kind. Or, yeah, I think if you, like, fold it along these lines you can like hmm I don't think it's supposed to be like an actual box but maybe you can just like set it upright or something and just like have it sitting on your desk so that's fun and a whole bunch of little die cut frames here and just die cuts and so much like sequins and little paper cutouts just like general confetti and then this cute little pumpkin die cut right there so yeah that is a lot and that's really fun that that all came in that cute little package so yeah that is my sweet bean plans order and that marks the end of this first black friday haul so definitely stay tuned for the second one which will be possibly even bigger. So thanks so much for watching. If you want to comment, subscribe, like, and share, that would be amazing. And I will see you in my next video.